Donald Trump has been the worst president this country has ever had. And I, I, I don't say that hyperbolically. He, he is. Um, but he is a consequential president. And he has brought this country in three short years to a place of weakness that is simply unimaginable if you were pondering where we are today from the day where Barack Obama left office. And there were a lot of us on that day who were deeply skeptical and very worried about what a Trump presidency would be. But this is a moment of unparalleled national humiliation, of weakness. When you listen to the president, these are the musings of an imbecile, an idiot. And I don't use those words to name call. I use them because they're the precise words in the English language to describe his behavior, his comportment, his actions. We've never seen a level of incompetence, a level of ineptitude, so staggering on a daily basis by anybody in the history of the country who's ever been charged with substantial responsibilities. It's just astonishing that this man is the president of the United States, the man, the con man from New York City, many bankruptcies, failed businesses, a reality show that branded him as something that he never was, a successful businessman. Well, he's the president of the United States now, and the man who said that he would make the country great again, he's brought death, suffering, and economic collapse on truly an epic scale. And let's be clear, this isn't happening in every country around the world. This place, our place, our home, our country, the United States, we are the epicenter. We are the place where you're most likely to die of this disease. We're the ones with the most shattered economy. And we are because of the fool that sits in the Oval Office behind the Resolute Desk.